I'm Ellie O'Brien and today I'm going to be doing a little bit of work with this young bear again. Um, we've done the round pen work, we've got her moving forward, reading our body language, basically learning how to learn. Um, I've got her hooking on to me, stepping her hindquarters over and now we're ready to start working on some of the desensitizing. Basically what we did before was sensitizing her to what we want her to do. Now we're going to desensitize her to things that we don't want her to react to. So first of all, with quite a sensitive horse like this, I'm going to start off by just patting her down. She's kind of okay there, so I'm going to move down her body. And anytime I find somewhere that she's a little bit sensitive about, I'm just going to keep on patting there until she relaxes. Now this mare's had a wee bit of handling now, so she's pretty good about being touched all over. a little bit funny about up, her, up around here by her ears and her neck just there she lowered her head and relaxed so I take my hand away I'm gonna come back again see just there she starts to get a little bit tense so I'm just gonna ha hold my hand here until she relaxes up again, she tenses up, her head comes up, her ears go back and she gets a little bit worried. Just there I bumped her because she lost her focus and started looking around. And she relaxed a little, she dropped her head and softened. It wasn't much but it was a try so I reward her. And my hand comes back up again. That time the head didn't go up anywhere near as much, so she's starting to learn. She lost her focus and then got a fright about my hand being up there. And she softens. she didn't move at all. So this time I might try and pop oh, no, her back to her who's been worried. No way. You may sort of think, why are you bother with doing this? Because this, if I didn't sort this out now, it could potentially lead to bridling issues later on. Because she would be worried about my hands being up here, so her head's going to go up, she's going to be worried. Then we're going to have a fight about bringing her head back down. And I'd rather just eliminate it now so that it's not an issue we have to work through later on. Now we've got some licking and chewing happening, so that's a great sign. It means she's thinking about things, she's processing it, and she's realising that it's not such a big deal.
sure that she doesn't start crowding me like that. Get my hand up. Wait till she softens. And release. Get my hand up. Yeah. So each time she's starting to lower her head more and more. does that and loses her focus and looks away, I don't stop patting with my hand because otherwise I'm sort of rewarding her for that. These horses are so quick and before you know it I'll put my hand up there to rub and she'll look over there and she'll think that's the right answer. So I'm just going to wait until she softens. I'm just going to work on this one side for now. So after I've worked on patting her all over, then I'm going to cup my hand. This way I can make a little bit of noise on her skin without it actually hurting her. So I'm going to start at her back and look to see for signs that she's relaxed. So she was a little bit tense there, now she's fine, so I'll take that pressure away. And I'll start again. I always go back to the same place to start. And release. Go down like that. There's a little bit of a glitch there. And take my hand away. I like to check that I can do this in the girth area as well because when it comes to doing up your saddle, doing this is going to make that a heap easier. Move our way down the hind quarters. And even down her tail. And that's all fine there. So now I'm going to go up her neck. She's a little bit tense just there, so I'm just going to hold there until she softens. And you might notice too, when she gets a little bit anxious about something, she starts looking around for somewhere else to be. When she's relaxed and happy, her head kind of just hangs neutral and she waits on me for the next thing to do. my way up her neck to the top. Good. Yeah, she's a little bit anxious there still, so I'll just stay there, wait for her to relax. Taste it. Okay.